What began as a project to move an adobe house has become an effort to move the nation. In 2006, the historic home of retired U.S. Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor was slated for demolition. When a few community leaders met to save it and plan its relocation, they didn't realize that the O'Connor House would become both a physical location and a symbolic movement to rebuild the way we solve our pressing political, economic, and social issues. In addition to being their family home for over 25 years, it is the setting where Sandra and John O'Connor entertained Arizona's leaders as well as national and international dignitaries. With hospitality and civil discourse as a platform, the O'Connors worked to build consensus to solve complex issues. There was a time, believe it or not, where everybody tried to be civil, even though they might disagree fundamentally at the bottom line. And political discourse in those days was meant to really solve problems, not create new ones. And we'd like to create an atmosphere again in Arizona where there's room for civil debate and consensus building. At a time when trusted leadership is needed to address significant public policy issues, O'Connor House offers a nonpartisan problem-solving process. With Justice O'Connor's leadership, together with its board of directors, community leaders, professionals, and volunteers, we convene stakeholders to catalyze actionable solutions in civic engagement, public policy, and social justice. There are two projects to advance civic engagement. In 2009, Justice Sandra Day O'Connor founded iCivics to address declining civics education in American classrooms. iCivics offers students and teachers a meaningful education tool and is the nation's most comprehensive civics curriculum portal on the internet. The Great Voter Challenge encourages all eligible adults in Arizona to register, become informed, and vote in local, state, and national elections. Using baseline voter registration statistics from the Arizona Secretary of State Elections Office, O'Connor House has challenged each county and all Arizona residents to improve our state's voter turnout by 10%. Less than 50% of Arizona voters actually vote. And that's frightening. I hope that we can encourage everyone who's registered to vote to vote. It's so important. And Arizona can do better on that score. We promote greater understanding of public policy through thoughtful discussion and critical analysis of facts. We also present issues and answers forums to provide balanced information to educate citizens on critical issues and ballot propositions. I expect O'Connor House to do a pretty good job of trying to explain most of these ballot propositions to voters in hopes that more people will be knowledgeable about them and then make an intelligent vote. One in four women will experience domestic violence in her lifetime. Our social justice program creates solutions to reduce domestic and other forms of violence against women and children, as well as providing legal services to victims. Our O'Connor House Safe Action Project develops and provides hospitality industry employee training to combat the commercial sexual exploitation of children. In addition to core programs and initiatives, O'Connor House presents our Distinguished Speaker Series. We invite leaders and luminaries who foster the concept of civil discourse in public policy. This year, we welcome David Gergen, director of the Center for Public Leadership at the Harvard Kennedy School and CNN's senior political analyst, as well as four-star Admiral James Stavridis, dean of the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy at Tufts University, chairman of the board of the U.S. Naval Institute, and the former NATO Supreme Allied Commander. We will also present Senator Sam Nunn and Senator Alan Simpson to address the topic, Working Across the Aisle, Creating a Functioning Democracy. Past speakers have included former Secretary of State, General Colin Powell, former President of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, former Secretary of State, Condoleezza Rice, Pulitzer Prize-winning author, David McCullough, and Washington Post foreign affairs columnist and noted author, David Ignatius. One of our proudest contributions is to document the life of Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman to sit on the United States Supreme Court. 
and to educate the public about Justice O'Connor's commitment to civil discourse, to build partnerships and implement solutions. The enduring value of O'Connor House is rooted in its past, yet its heritage lives on in the leadership role it plays for Arizona and our nation. Our mission is to continue Justice O'Connor's lifetime work of solving important social, economic, and political problems through a process of civil discussion, critical analysis of facts, and informed participation of all citizens. Join us in honoring the vision of Justice Sandra Day O'Connor in helping to create a more efficient and effective democracy. That's the goal that we have for the O'Connor House, really, to try to help enable any group in our state that's facing contentious issues, help them understand the pros and the cons on each side of the issue, and help them uh, hear valid arguments both ways and better appreciate what a good solution might be. And I hope we can help uh, create that kind of an atmosphere and produce the kind of information that will help people who have to make those decisions make good decisions. O'Connor House, where civil talk leads to civic action.